This is the aftermath of the Bishopsgate bomb as you've never seen it before. The damage, debris and destruction clear to see. The IRA placed the bomb in a parked lorry here, and this crater was all that was left after it went off. One person was killed, 44 injured, mostly by blasted out windows and glass. Obviously, the city of London and Bishopsgate itself has changed a great deal in the last 25 years. But for those that were here on the day itself, well, they remember it as if it was just yesterday. So where exactly did the bomb go off? Just past that 100 Bishopsgate sign in Bishopsgate. And it was probably the loudest sound that I've ever heard, really. Sergeant Ian Havis was on the police cordon when the bomb exploded. As was usual back then, the IRA had rung the police to warn them of the device. I'd been asked to go and sort of clear the street of pedestrians and stuff. And there was a man sitting in a seat harness washing a window, asking to come in off the building. Uh, and when I walked back round that way, he thanked me because the shop window that was nearby was completely caved in, essentially because of the shock waves don't essentially go in straight lines, they go around corners. Without knowing it, he'd save that window cleaner's life. The Bishopsgate bomb also had a lasting legacy in the way we police the city. Bishopgate was a game changer. It meant that the government had to spend more money protecting one of our national assets, the City of London. So things like the Ring of Steel were introduced, where checkpoints were put in place, CCTV cameras, ANPR, automatic number plate reading systems were put into place to, to try and make sure that an attack wasn't successful in the City of London. And also to give those businesses in the City of London the peace of mind that they were being protected. Today's anniversary then and the photos that accompany it are a reminder of how long London has withstood terrorist attacks and learnt practical lessons from them. Alex Bushell, BBC London News.